Hello everybody, how goes it? Rabbitsmore here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to update my automatic replanting wheat farm for versions 1.13 and up. Also this farm works with potatoes, carrots, or beetroots, so if you have one for that you can also use this video to update it for 1.13 and up. And this tutorial is going to assume that you've already built this farm. If you haven't, you can pause this video. I'll have a link to my other tutorial on how to build this in the description below this video. You can check that out build the farm and come back and check this one for the updates. For those of you who have already built this farm, I'm gonna hop straight into the changes on how to get your farm up and running as quick as possible. Okay, so to get started for this update, all you'll need are the items that you can see at the bottom of my screen in my inventory. So make sure you have at least three redstone torches, four redstone dust, three redstone repeaters, at least two water buckets, a trap door of your choice, a gate of your choice, one lever, and at least a handful of solid building blocks. The first thing that we're going to work on is the piston that unlocks our villager's door. So head on down below and to the left side here, you're gonna have your hopper clock. So starting from here, we're gonna get rid of a couple blocks. We're gonna get rid of this repeater, this block and this redstone torch. So go ahead and break the torch, the block and the repeater. And then starting from this right block here next to your hopper timer, go ahead and break out one, two, three and four blocks here. Going back over to this block, place one of your redstone torches here. And coming from there, we're gonna have one, two pieces of redstone dust, and then place one of your solid blocks and another piece of redstone dust here to power this piston. And now your villagers locking and unlocking door should be fully functional. All right, so now that that's done, the next thing we're going to update is our item elevator. So heading over between our item sorters here, where the water is, Go over here and either scoop up this water or place a block so that the water isn't there anymore. Once all of it is done flowing, come back to where it used to be, break out the block behind that one, and that is now where we're going to place our water source here. And we're gonna have to place another one, so I'm gonna break this out. And where this repeater is powering this block here, break out the block beneath that and place your second bucket of water so that now the water is flowing diagonally this direction so it will push the items against that wall. And so now they will go against the wall all the way to your launcher. And speaking of the launcher, that's the next thing we're gonna update. So hop down into this trench. And what we're gonna do is replace this trapdoor with a solid block. So we're gonna break that, place a solid block. It doesn't matter if the water comes down and washes up some of your redstone, just make sure you pick it up. Place it in the line coming up to this. And now this spot used to be redstone. What you're gonna do is change this to a repeater. And you're gonna set this all the way to the longest duration that a repeater will go. And now our item elevator is good to go. Okay, so once you've finished that, go ahead and head up to your surface where we're gonna work on the next part here. And to make this part a little easier, make sure you block up your left and right water sources here so that they don't flow into the center where we're gonna be working and accidentally come rushing down. So once you have that water blocked up, go ahead and head back down below. Go between your item sorters here. And this piece of fence up here, we're gonna break that out and replace that with a trap door placed on the bottom half of this block here, just like this, so that when it opens, it goes like that. And then between these two blocks here, we're gonna place a piece of fence gate so that it is faced in this direction. And then we're gonna need to send a signal up here to open this trap door occasionally. So how we're gonna do that is come back down to this left item sorter here. And at the end of this, we're gonna place a solid block with a redstone torch on top so that that will get changed whenever this gets a power signal. And coming off from that, it's gonna go into a piece of redstone dust, which we don't want connecting to this. So go ahead and place a solid block there to cut that off. And we want this to come this direction twice. So we're gonna place two blocks there, a redstone repeater set to the highest duration, another redstone repeater also set to four ticks here. And each of those is going to go into a solid block so you can sneak and click a block right here place a redstone torch on top of that. And now whenever this gets power, it will open your trap door, but we don't want it opening your gate here. So how we're gonna stop that is we're gonna place a solid block right next to our gate on the opposite side with a lever on the bottom, flip that on, and then make sure that your gate is closed. So just come over here, right click it and make sure it's closed. Oh, I almost forgot in 1.13, items now move faster in water so we can have a shorter time on our hopper timer. So head over to your hopper timer Look into your hopper where you have your items and you can pull half of those out and you can do that easily by right clicking. Just make sure that once you're done, you have 23 items left in here. 
so this will be much faster now. And head back up top. Make sure you unblock your water that you previously blocked. And your system is fully ready to go for 1.13, guys. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, you can always leave a like on this video. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day and see you later.